Welcome to our video on self-defense. This video is on a technique called reversing storm. It's for a forward swinging club followed by a backhanded swinging club and then you meet more resistance at that point. It's a little involved so let's take a look at it. All right I'm gonna have Mr. Bustamante start a little bit farther back and you'll be able to, to see hopefully the angles here that we need on this. Now if you watch I'm gonna use all four corner angles. All right, the white lines are your 90 degree angles and the yellow broken lines are your 45s. I'm going to use all four of those 45s on this technique. So from this position, as he comes in swinging my head, if I do nothing, he's going to hit me right here in the head. Okay, that is the target. So as that happens, I fade back and my hands come up. Now, he's coming in with the back swing and he's again coming back in for the head. Again, if I do nothing, he's going to hit me here. All right, so I'm going to step in and meet that attack. I'm going to step back with my left foot into the neutral stance, but then I'm also going to step up again with the same foot, the left foot. All right, so as he swings in from here, there's one, two. All right, I got a nice knee check here as well. Now, this, these are actually strikes. So if you can get this and you can hit him hard enough to make him drop the club right here, that's great. The rest of the technique says what if you don't. I'm going to grab here at the wrist. Now, if you've got some of the butt end of the stick uh, pointing out there, go ahead and make sure you get your wrist right up against that so he can't use that against you. All right, now from here, what I want to do at this point is I'm going to step around and go into an armbar takedown. But as that happens, he resists. You see how the elbow bent right here? Okay, so instead of fighting here and trying to get that to happen, I'm going to use that energy. He bent his elbow with energy coming up this way, trying to get away from me. So now I'm going to fold the arm up, reach underneath, grab my own wrist. All right, in Japanese is udegarami. All right, and then I'm going to take another step forward towards the other corner. If I need to, I can use an elbow to the face here. But mostly what I'm going to do is a revolving step and throw him to the ground. One, two. Okay, notice how... When he's doing the takedown, since I have not released him, I bend both knees and squat down in basically a deep horse stance at that point. If I'm not going to do that, then I have to release him more like a throw. The problem is he still has the weapon in his hand. Now, if he had dropped the weapon on the first move, it might be a little different story. But he's still got the weapon. I don't want to release him, so I want to take him to the ground. Now, generally, we have a rule that says you never leave your opponent with the weapon. And that's all, almost always a good idea. From here, though, I don't want to get too fancy. Once you slam him to the ground, ideally you've bounced his head off the ground. He should be a little disoriented. Just grab the club and yank it. Don't try to get too fancy. Get the club and get out of there. All right, so let's look at it again. All right, stepping back, up, check, back. He resists. Now remember, you can also hit him with his own club here. That's another possibility. In class, we're lifting up and going over. Step around, take down, he's down. I can drive my knee down here to his rib cage. I take the club away and I step back into the on guard position. Let's look at it from another angle. Okay, we're gonna go from straight up this way. So if you would, Mr. Bustamante. All right, slow motion, back, up, step around, step again and take down. If you want to drive the knee in here, that's fine, but take that club away and step back. Reversing storm. Thank you.